اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم In the last session, we did discuss an introduction to ChatGPT for research. Now, as I mentioned in the last session, that one should be very cautious in using ChatGPT. It's a great tool, and there's no doubt about it, and now the journals are recognizing its importance as well. However, it can rust your ability to write literature on your own. Now, To able to avoid the harmful effects of such AI tools, one should know what to write, where to write and how to write. Now in this session, I'm going to briefly discuss a serious issue that might arise with ChatGPT and how to solve this issue. Now repeatedly, people have told me that, or it was in comments in the last session as well, that they can't find the right references. So the references provided by ChatGPT are wrong. Now, if you solely rely on ChatGPT for write-ups, then these are the problems that you might encounter with the AI tools. Now, there is a solution for it. But before that solution, you should know the section that you are writing. You should know what goes in that section. For example, we do not write about details of relationship in the introduction. We write about them in the literature review. We do not provide detailed conceptualization of every single variable in the introduction. We write them in our literature review. So things like that one should know before using a chat GPT. Now in this session, I'm going to look into how to solve this problem of referencing. I'm just going to provide you with few basic examples as to what could be done. Now, this is not an exhaustive list of solution, but obviously it is one that can help you find the references. But again, when you find the reference or when you find the relevant text, you should know where it goes. Now, let's say, and I'm going to do a detailed video on how to use ChatGPT to write the introduction of a research. But for now, let's say I'm writing about my research on entrepreneurial leadership, knowledge management and project success. And I want to write about this the importance of entrepreneurial leadership. So I go to ChatGPT and here I write in. Can you explain why entrepreneurial leadership is important for modern organizations with references Let's see what we get. Okay, now this might happen. So you have to create a new instance of your chat GPT. So here it is. And I'm going to write it again. The same question. Let's enter. Now here I'm getting the response from a chat GPT. Now, it's not providing me the references in the text, um, but I can uh, surely ask a chat GPT to do so. Now I've got it here. So we'll wait for on the full reference list and see what we get. So what you're getting is, is actually very sound argument. Now you do not just simply copy and paste it into your text. You're not writing an essay or you're not describing something. You need to uh, make it more acceptable in terms of research. So you might go through this argument, read it and summarize it in your own words and then use these references. Now, this is the right way to use chat GPT for research. Now, let's say if these papers actually exist, because this is the problem that people are encountering and they can't find the right reference. Let's see if we've got them. Okay, so this is right. Let's see if you get this one. Okay, this is also right. Let's see this one. So some of the times you will get the right reference. This is fine as well. And I guess the last one will be fine as well. Now I'm going to what I'm going to do is I'm going to slightly change my strategy, my terminologies that I use now here is a slight change 
So entrepreneurial leadership and employee engagement, the role of creativity and risk taking. So this is the paper by Poon, Chen and Lin. So let's see if you've got something like that. Copy. Let's go to Google Scholar. So, well, I can't find anything uh, that is done by Poon, Chen and Lin. So, maybe, but this is regarding DNA. So, we are actually, now this is something that is problematic. So, I can't find anything and there is no title like this. There is no title like this. Even let's say since 2029, nothing like that. Now, and this is Poon. Where is Poon in the text? Here it is. According to the study by Poon et al., employees are more likely to feel motivated and committed to an organization that values innovation, risk-taking and creativity. Well, the argument is sound. The argument is right, but the reference is incorrect. So what to do in this case? Now you have to change the reference. So what you can do is let's identify the keywords that are there in this sentence. So employees are likely to be motivated, committed to an organization that values innovation, risk taking and creativity. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to find a similar argument in literature and use that reference. How? Let me copy this. And let's see if I can use it. So I'm going to copy this and here what I'm going to do is for now what you can do is simply put this text here like this. So let's see if you can find something directly. Employees are more or are also more creative and innovative in there. So now maybe this is something and that you can use. Maybe you can use this argument. So you can open these papers and see if any one of these Keywords appear in these papers as well and the sentence actually makes sense. Another better way to do so is what I'm going to do is I'm going to shorten it. You can shorten it as well. Employees, let's say, feel motivated. Now, instead of motivated and committed, just write motivated to an organization that values innovation. So let's say I delete this too. And let's see if you can find now. Similarly, remove innovation and add in, let's say risk taking and then creativity. So you can have multiple references. Other way to do so is use this all in text string builder. And in all in text, let's say I use the keywords. So employees is something that I want to appear with let's say motivation or motivated and then innovation can be my keyword so now I want all those papers or list of papers or I want Google Scholar to provide me the papers that have got these words in their text if it, if it's a, a phrase you can put it in inverted commas now let's press enter now let's see employees creative ideas to effective employees must be motivated to think unfortunately motivating employees to participate in common weaknesses is a common weakness of so you can open this paper and see if they give you something similar to this and then you can use that particular reference but again i, I will keep emphasizing on this point again and again in all my chat GPT videos that first learn whatever or what goes in each of the sections of your research paper or research thesis. Otherwise, you might end up in trouble by writing something that you do not understand. So this is one way to do it. Now I'm going to share some other ways to do it in future as well. Thank you very much.